A year ago today, everyone was talking about the goalkeeper after his sudden United side took on Arsenal and the FA Cup. No, it wasn't because he made a string of amazing saves, but because he ate a pie on the substitute's bench. But that pie got him into a lot of trouble. Sun Bets had offered punters 8 1 that the 46 year old would be seen eating a pie during the game and an investigation followed after Shaw did just that. Ultimately, it resulted in him being asked to resign from the club. Talking after the match, Shaw tried to play down what he'd done as thousands of football fans signed a petition to save his job. A few of the lads said to me earlier on what is going on with the 8-1 bet about eating a pie. I said I don't know. I have eaten nothing all day. So I might give it a go later on, he said. As I say, what is that? Sun Bet had us at 8 1 to eat a pie. I thought I would give them a bit of banter and do it. All the subs were on, and we were 2 0 down. But what has happened to him in the past 365 days? Well, he was offered a series of interesting jobs with Morrison's approaching him for an official pie taster job offer. Whether or not that offer was serious or not is unknown, but there was one serious offer that interested Shaw. Last May, Southern League Division 1 South and West Side, AFC Totten, offered Shaw to be their new commercial manager. We believe having Wayne on board will help this wonderful football club take a huge step towards realizing its undoubted potential. Wayne has the bubbly personality, and he is a Totten lad, so if anybody can make this a success of this role then it will be Wayne Shaw, they said at the time. And it seems Shaw is rather enjoying his new role. That's because, ahead of today's one year anniversary of his pie eating antics, he took to Twitter to claim he's now living the dream. One year anniversary from number P Gate, the best thing that has ever happened to me and my family. The support from every one of you has been magnificent. Oh yes thank you the FA and SUFC for your support as well not dot living the dream out of Cotton dot xx, he wrote dot well, at least this story has a happy ending.